everyone! Today we're learning about sexual and asexual reproduction. Did you know that bacteria use asexual reproduction and it can take as little as 10 minutes to reproduce, whereas some mammals like elephants take nearly two years using sexual reproduction. Wow. Let's look at how it works. There are two types of reproduction, sexual and asexual. Let's start with sexual. This involves fertilization, which is the fusion of the male and female gametes. In animals, the male gamete is the sperm cell and the female gamete is the egg cell. But in flowering plants, the male gamete is actually pollen, but the female gamete is still an egg cell. When the gametes fuse together, there's mixing of genetic information from the male and the females. This leads to variation or variety in the offspring. Can you spot some differences in these three little hedgehogs? Now let's look at asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction involves one parent only. The parent cells reproduce by mitosis to make the offspring, so there is no fusion of gametes or no fertilization. Since there's no fertilization, there's no mixing of genetic information. So the new offspring, like this little runner coming off the strawberry plant, is genetically identical to the other runner. Because of this, we call them clones. They are all the same. Okay, pause and try these questions and then press play when you're ready to go through them. Number one, what is the scientific name for sex cells? These are gametes. Two, name the male and female sex cells in flowering plants. The male sex cell is pollen, and the female sex cell is an egg cell. 3. What is fertilization? This is a fusion of two gametes, the male and females. 4. Compare the offspring produced by asexual and sexual reproduction, and give a reason for the differences. OK, start with a comparison, and then we'll give the reasons. Offspring produced by asexual reproduction are clones or you can say they show no genetic variation. Whereas, this is where we compare, offspring produced by sexual reproduction do show genetic variation. Now the reason. This is because asexual reproduction involves no fusion of gametes, or no fertilization, and therefore no mixing of genetic information. Whereas sexual reproduction has got mixing of genetic information. All right, how did you do? In the next video, you'll be learning about how gametes are made during meiosis. And if you study biology only, you're gonna be comparing sexual and asexual reproduction in more detail. If you found this useful, please subscribe and thanks for watching.